Employees jumping ship from Stability AI. Comfy just resigned a few days ago. Comfy is the developer of Comfy. Now the team for Stability Fusion 3 to be medium. The model that we saw release a few days ago. That team is gone. And now also McMonkey working for Stable Swarm is leaving. What are you going to do? I'll tell you. So it might not come as a surprise to some of you, but Comfy, uh, the developer of Comfy UI, left Stability AI a few days ago. This is not the only change that has been happening, but let's just dive into some of the um, posts that he made on Discord. This is a Reddit post, and this is just basic just screenshots of what he said on Discord. With basic start with, you know, can someone remove my Stability AI role? Kind of prompting uh, it officially. To, to say that he left. Then there's some, some questions about the, the Stable Diffusion 3 model. And then he goes on to talk about the different weights of the model or the variants. So goes on to say that 2B was worked on by a research team that actually isn't employed by Stability AI anymore. And from my understanding, they were fired. Comfy worked on the 4B model and it says here, I was working on a T5 only 4B model, which would ironically have been safer without breaking everything because T5 doesn't know any image data. So it was only able to generate images in the distribution of the filtered training data, but they can my 4B and I wasn't really following the 2B that closely. And a lot of you have probably heard that the 2B model was pushed. It was a, supposed to be a, a beta model but management pushed for release and well, we got the 2B1 and things turned to shit, kinda. It's kinda sad because the Stable Diffusion 3 model had some, some promise. Like if you get rid of all the licensing and all of that, because that's all a mess right now. The, the cool thing that I liked was that 16 channel VE and the results you can get from that. It goes on to say, yeah, the 2B apparently was a bit of a failed experiment by the researchers that left, but there was a strong push by the top of the company to release the 2B instead of the 4B and 8B. Now, uh, this is what Comfy is saying publicly, and this is his personal opinion. We haven't heard anything from Stability AI at this point, which I think is a massive failure, sadly. Now, I don't want to be the first to throw any stones because I think that we have to be careful here. We need to listen to all sides before making judgments, obviously. Now, Stability AI has failed to provide their side, which is sad. I'm hoping that they're going to make right with or clear up, rewrite, whatever uh, in, in the licensing and keep working on SD three but i mean we'll see if they don't people are gonna abandon this right if people actually take their mistake learn from them move on and become better people and better companies we're all gonna be better in the end right so i think even though we're in a bad place right now with no official word licensing seems terrible it's all a mess as everything's a mess it's a PR nightmare for Stability AI. I just hope they take this opportunity to realize what they can change to be better and move from that. There's no value, there's no gain for any of us to just publicly, you know, destroy the opinion of Stability AI. We would gain so much more from a great Stable Fusion 3 model, Stable Fusion 4, 5, 6, whatever, with good licensing, right? That's what we want. I know a lot of people are going to dislike that, but that's my opinion. Comfy goes on here by saying, oh, the current CEO is a researcher actually, and kind of ends, you know, I don't know, not my problem. I don't work there anymore, which kind of put the nail in the coffin of uh, saying, you know, he officially quits. He, he also says, don't worry, there are going to be plenty of alternatives, which I think is kind of cool. I spoke to Comfy shortly about this, and he gave me a quote to show you publicly. And he says, I mainly want to reassure people that Comfy UI will continue to be developed by a bigger team with more resources than before. Uh, and that brings us to um, what Comfy is going to do next. And he's actually going to work on expanding the Comfy ecosystem. And he's going to do that with other people from Stupid AI. And some people 
that work with something called drip and they have a manifest that we actually can read right here and it says democratization that's a hard word democratization of ai needs to be the democratization of ai tooling and they have that little cute uh, gif here ai models are without a doubt important but so is the tooling that enables these models for all users if oss models can only be utilized by a handful of cloud providers or closed source tools is ai truly democratized to answer that well yeah, probably not, right? Yeah. Our core mission is to advance and democratize visual AI tooling by iterating and improving Comfy UI. We will work with OSS model builders and organize community efforts to efficiently build OSS tooling for all. So they're bas basically going to keep working with the Stable Diffusion community and do what we all wanted in the first place, right? So they're going to have uh, Comfy working for them. It's, it's, it's a messy, right? It's called Comfy and the UI is called Comfy. So Comfy or Comfy Anonymous. Is going to be working that with them they're also going to be working with uh mcmonkey who is the developer for stable swarm those two have been working in tight tandem for for quite some time both employees by stability uh, apparently not anymore then the llm space is a great predictor for the future of the visual ai space in the LLM space, if you don't know LLM, large language model, we have seen the flourish of incredible OSS tooling, Langchain, Llama, alongside OSS model, Mistral, Llama. The same is happening in the visual space. Lastly, for all those out there believing in open sourcing AI and AI tools, hey, that's us, guys. There is no free lunch in the world of open source. Oh, well, you know, it, it's kind of true. We have to come to this real realization. It can be free-ish. Democratization won't happen on its own. Every single one of us needs to fight for it. If these core me messages resonate with you, talk to us at hello at drip art. So this is basically sort of a manifest kind of thing. And you know, the, this point kind of makes it sound there is no free lunch in the world of open source. Yeah, I mean, to get to the point where we are right now with Stable, Stable Fusion 1.5, um, SDXL, whatever. <laughs> There's been so much work. So it's not just like, oh, you know, here's a free mole for you. There's actual people needing to feed themselves and their families and their kids spending time and money to develop these things. We have to take a step back and consider that fact, right? With that said, should everything be Aid? No, I don't think it needs to be. There are many ways to monetize. I mean, I put up my videos on YouTube for free, but I also have a side thing where I charge for more detailed guides on my Patreon. And thanks anyone for supporting that or everyone for supporting that. I also have merch, like t-shirts. I have t-shirts with fun prompt messages on them which you can find below. People spend time to do something, and if they are doing it for free, they need other revenue streams. They need to feed their family. It's, it's a fine line. I get it. I get it. So what's it all gonna end up with then? Comfy.org. And this is basically a team of dedicated people wanting to improve Comfy UI. They want to support the Comfy UI ecosystem and just make Comfy a nice place. For all of us. It says here, the vision, if OSS models can only be utilized by a handful of cloud providers or closed source tools, is AI truly democratized? Our core mission is to advance and democratize visual AI tooling by internet. It's basically uh, similar to what we saw on the Drip Art Manifesto page. We are building the tools to, to democratize AI for everyone. And as you can see here, we have some familiar faces, the team. We have Comfy, we have MacMonkey, so if you haven't been following Comfy, obviously the creator of Comfy UI, McMonkey is the creator of Stable Swarm. Both of these guys worked at Stability AI. Dr. Lieutenant Data, creator and maintainer of the Comfy UI Manager, which is like a huge deal. Everyone uses the manager. We have some contributors to uh, Comfy UI, Python Goss. I don't know about the spellings of some of these people. So uh, apologies in advance for that. Robin Ken, the creator and maintainer of uh, Comfy Registry. Previously worked at uh, Google Cloud. Yoland is the creator of uh, Comfy CLI and maintainer of Comfy CI. Also worked at uh, Google, is a search ML engineer. We got Hongil, 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 or just James. Yes, yes, is the maintainer of Comfy Registry, works closely with uh, Dr. Lieutenant Data. And last but not least, How How creates. How How is passionate about connecting with creatives and developers in Comfy e ecosystem. 
part of the company. He ran software conferences and founded an ed tech startup. He loves dressing up as a banana man. Okay. So what is all this then? Comfy is going to try to create a more open source kind of thing. I, I think they may dimension of uh, similarity about the Red Hat and here. How do you make money? Yeah, this is how do you make money? Well, we don't yet. We plan to make money through consulting and enterprise support. It's a proven model. For example, Red Hat, if you can build amazing OSS software that's widely adopted as the industry standard, you can finance the core development while empower empowering an entire ecosystem. We will never hide closed source features behind a paywall or license. So that's great news. If they stick to that, Comfy is always going to be open source. It's not going to be paywalled. And it's not going to have any weird licenses. So that's fantastic. It still requires a model to be used. Um, but with the way Comfy is built, it doesn't really matter what model, right? You can use any model. It doesn't have to be. We're not just talking about like, oh, Stable Fusion. 1.5 STXL. No, we can do use, use whatever. Like you could build it to, to have um, Pixar Sigma or any other new model for that matter. And something that you might be interested in here. What about foundational um, models? It says, despite the recent turmoil in OSS AI community, there are a huge amount of advancements in OSS AI models. We are working closely with OSS model builders to bring the best models to Comfy UI. We also plan to put more resources into AMOs in the future. A little vague, but um, knowing that there are so many advancements out there, I'm sure we'll see some cool stuff coming soon. So what does that mean for the average user? Are you still going to be able to use Comfy and your Stable Diffusion models as you always have done? Yes. I don't see that changing. Uh, what's going to change is the way moving forward. Is the Stable Diffusion Stability AI going to be a part of that? Well. That's really up to them, right? They close down their systems. People are not the, the, the crowd that are using Stable Fusion now will probably not use Stable Fusion in the future, or at least the, the future models. But if they're, they change their licensing and open it up again, um, well, we don't know. People might keep working on Stable Fusion models. People might change to PixArt or Tencent models or whatever. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. But it's going to be some cool stuff coming in the future. I'm uh, sure about that. What are your core principles? Transparency and communication, open source and community driven democratizing AI. Sounds great. What do you think? Oh, and do you think I can jump higher than a house? Of course I can. Houses can't jump.